What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video and just a quick one today. Yesterday there was an interview posted by CompuBox TV who had uh, Dame Lillard on, NBA star, and they spoke about ESBC, they spoke about boxing, pound for pound list, you know, Mayweather possibly being in ESBC, what a fan of boxing Lillard has been and always has been and currently is and that he saw ESBC and was super impressed with it. I'm not going to waste you guys' time by showing you the interview they spoke a bit about with the possibilities of Mayweather and stuff like that. But I'm not going to waste you guys' time. I'm just going to get into kind of the meat and potatoes of this and talk about the possible release date. So just for a bit of background, CompuBox is not just, you know, someone random. They are an official partner of ESBC. They will be in the game like brands like Venom and Rival and stuff like that. They will be a part of the game. There will be a feature in career mode as well as probably like online and, you know, normal fights, but mainly career mode because it's going to be, you know, counting your punches and things like that. Now, the guy who was interviewing Dame Lillard is also a CompuBox operator. Whether or not that means he owns it, I don't quite know. But I'm not going to try to pronounce his last name. We're just going to go by Dan for now. I suck with names. You guys know this. Now, being a partner, he obviously saw the game before us. He's probably seen more than we have, I would imagine. And right at the start of the interview, as he introduces it and stuff like that, he says this. Uh, the Esports Boxing Club coming to all major consoles this year. Check them out at esportsboxingclub.com. He says coming to all major consoles this year. Now, normally... I would say this would just be nothing because, you know, when Todd Grisham used to say it's coming soon or when Ryan Rose said it was coming in December 2021, that was all quite a reach. Whereas we have 11 full months of this year left. And I said 2022. I think it is quite possible. I think he probably maybe knows a little bit, but the chance of someone just a partner knowing the, the release is, is quite unlikely, if I'm honest with you, because... I don't even know if, if all the guys on the dev team know. I think it's a bit of a stretch. However, it could very be possible. But I, if while I would say take, take up a pinch of salt, I would put a bit of faith in this and say that I think some of the partners are probably starting to find out when the game's coming out. Maybe they're just given like a month bracket, a month window of when the game could be coming. So I think it would be quite possible. I think it makes sense. And uh, yeah, I just thought I'd keep you guys updated on this. I'm not going to waste you guys' time with the, the whole interview because... Most of it seems to just be speculation and just them chatting. Whereas this at the start, he says it very confidently, you know, very professionally. The way he just says, come to all major consoles this year. We you know, and then he's, without further ado, let's get into the interview and stuff like that. So it's like, that seemed pretty solid. But let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Are you just going to hold on to this? Or are you just going to throw this aside and just not think about it? To be honest, I, I would put some hope into this one, to be honest. I, I think it could very well be possible. I think some of the partners may start to find out. And um, I could very well see it. See it being something that, that, that he would know. Uh, but yeah, let me know your thoughts. Uh, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.